What is up everybody, Kedron here, and today I wanted to bring you guys a little video going over enumerations and why are they super useful and how they can open up a lot of possibilities when it comes to working in your blueprints. So, with enumerations, I currently have my ability to sprint and walk based on my shift key, and then when I jump, I can double jump and then dash in midair, and that is all set up with an enumeration function, it's just off of the individual little pins. So for instance, I'm going to show you a little overview of how I'm using these within my own character blueprint and how I use multiple enum lists together with each other. So for my jumps, it's just using my mobility state enum and it's got different functionality off of the individual pins. And then for my sprinting, it is also using my mobility state. But when it comes to attacking off of my left mouse button, I'm using my mobility state as well as my weapon state and my weapon list enum. And then I have individual custom events set up based on which state I'm in. So out of the six enum lists that I have, I only use four currently. So I use my E underscore level list. I use my mobility state. I use my weapon list and my weapon state. The other ones are not being used currently. My level list holds all of the names for the individual levels that I'm using. My mobility state holds all of the kinds of mobility that I'll be using. So double jumping, jumping, walking, crouching, all that kind of stuff. Um, my weapon list has all the individual weapons that I have for my character so far. And I can just keep adding them to it if I want to. And then my weapon state has whether or not my character is unarmed or has the weapon drawn or is in powered up states. So this is really useful instead of having to create a lot of boolean variables and name them certain like types like is this x spirit or is in shikai stuff like that um i can just create one variable for my enum state which i'll come down here and you just create a new variable and what you do is under the type you want to specify your enumeration and sort of like this switch on integer node it's the same exact function, it's just a switch on integer between the weapon state itself, or the enum that you have. So instead of having to make all these individual branch trees, I can just use one enum and then switch the state based on whatever I'm doing. So for instance, I currently have this jump, my double jump, jump attack, and my flying jump. This is all one big collapsed system into a enum node, pretty much. So if my mobility state is in walking or sprinting and I press my jump key, then it will set my mobility state to jumping, but it will do my normal jump. And I have it print strings on all of my stuff just for debugging purposes. But then if I press my jump key again while I'm in the jumping state, it'll fire off this node and then come back down the tree to jumping. And then it'll launch my character a little bit. It'll set my mobility state into double jumping and it'll play my double jump animation. And then if I press the button again while I'm in double jumping, it'll launch my character and then set me into dashing and do my quick little dash that I have. Now I also have dashing set up to go back into this launch. So that way I can dash again in midair. So for instance, if I didn't want to be able to dash midair after I do the first dash, I can just set this to falling and then I'll be set in the falling state until I touch the ground on my event on landed. Whether or not I'm sprinting, it will set me to sprinting or walking on my mobility state. And then I can go right back into the jump. So this is a much simpler way of doing this instead of having to set up a bunch of boolean and branch trees and all that stuff. Because you could come off of here and then just type in branch and then have a boolean for whether or not you're on the ground, jumping, double jumping, whatever it is. And then if you're on the ground, go off a true, then, then you can jump. But if you're not on the ground, and then you can check for another branch variable, whether or not you're jumping, and then you could double jumping. It's just, it's a pain in the ass, and it's not fun to sit there and code all of that. So you just make an enum list, you slap that thing in here, you make yourself a variable, and uh, you drag it out, you pull off of here, and you type in switch on integer. Or you just have to type in SW, it'll pull up switch, and then you can drag this out, click down the menu, and you can see all of your individual pins. So it makes it so much simpler, and they're really easy to use, but they're super powerful when it comes to application. And so this is just one example for my jumps, but if we come over here, like I said, I have multiple different states set up. So whether or not I'm walking, sprinting, flying, or attacking, I will be able to attack regardless. And if I'm double jumping, then I do a special double jump attack. 
And then based on whether or not I'm my weapon is drawn or it's not, then I'll do my normal sword. And if I'm in Shikai, then it will switch to whatever spirit I'm currently wielding on this list. And then it'll play out respectively to my individual combos that are all set up over here. So it's just, it's much more simple and it compiles everything together very smoothly. So all you have to do to actually make an enum is you just right click, you come over here to blueprints and you come down to enumeration, name it whatever you like. You double click it, you open it up. And then you just click add enumerator and you can add as many as you want in there, name them whatever you'd like. But if you come in here and name this one, say walking, and then this one sprinting, and you don't want to have to like rename it, you can just come over here to the side and grab it and then move it on top so you can reorder the list however you want. And then if you want to come over here and delete any, or if you made too many, you can just click the little trash can icon and, it'll, and it will delete them. And then after you've made that, you can come over here, you can click add a new variable. And then, like I said, you just make your variable, you name it whatever you want the actual little pin to be named. And then you just come down to your variable type and you type in E underscore uh, weapon. And like I said, you can just pick your specific enum for whatever you'd like. And then you just drag it in, you get it. And then you pull off and you type in switch and you get your enum. And from there, you just hook up the execution pins to whatever you'd like. So hopefully I explained that well enough and this video was helpful to you guys. We are actually getting really close to 250 subs and I love and appreciate all of you guys for your support. And uh, I'm steadily working on this. I've been on a little bit of a hiatus for the last month, uh, but I've been making a lot of functions in the game to make videos about as well. Uh, so I'll be hopefully posting more videos soon. So I appreciate you guys, like I said, and I'll catch you later. Catch you now.